Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In our last video, Arthur did confront another legendary gunslinger with amazing results, of course, right? <laughs> but in today's video, I do want to make my way over to the Reverend here and begin working on his mission. But before we do that, I stumbled across a plant that I should probably examine. So I can just rip it out of the ground. What's this all about? Burdock root is a stamina herb. Hang on. Can be used for something with my stamina core, I assume. Burdock bushes are tall, dark green leafy bushes and are very easy to spot in the light colored surroundings. They are found on the western side of the Great Plains region, particularly along the railroad tracks and river banks, sometimes near rocks, under groups of trees, but scattered about in general. The root can be cons consumed or crafted into bitters. Okay. Something, something, stamina, something, something. I mean, I'm sure all of this <laughs> means something and I should pay more attention, but like, why would I do that? That just sounds silly. <laughs> okay, so let's get my waypoint there and maybe we'll actually get there today. There's a lot of smoke over there. Oh, is it a train, maybe? No. Oh, it's this guy who wants to be, who wants to be left alone. Which is fine. We're gonna take a shortcut and go this way. Arthur's singing to himself. I do like that. <laughs> Wild horses just roaming about the place. Easy. Whoa. Yeah, let's slow down and hold a minute. Let's study. Study. Good boy. Okay, boy. That's another puppers. Chesapeake Bay Retrievers can be found at ranches, homesteads, train stations, and towns. Across New Hanover. Their omnivore diet usually consists of dog food made up from meat, vegetable matter, and offal. Oh, it's good for hunting and to retrieve waterfowl. I want a puppy for Arthur. Good boy. You're a good boy. Let's hitch my horse. And then let's go get this horses you may not want to hang out on the railroad tracks okay let's pick it up Swanson, you in here M mr mr reverend oh boy, i feel like i'm walking into a very bad situation hey we're watching you don't be What's starting nothing up? here again play your damn hand Hi, gentlemen all right wait good morning partner morning is the Reverend playing poker and losing, potentially? Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Really? Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit yeah. down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Uh-oh. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? <laughs> These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. Uh-huh. They are children of God. <laughs> oh. Well, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Uh, do I? Uh, sure. Sure. I'll play a few hands. Such well, a bad idea. Sit yourself down then. Are we gonna play Glint? I'm <laughs> pretty good at that. <laughs> Poker, not 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 I'm so much. Luke, sir. This is Marvin. 
Hi. Start of the round. Each player. Fortunate yeah. for you both. We're being. Okay. I. Okay. The aim of poker is to win. Really? The pot by having the best cards at the end of the game or by convincing other players you have the best hand. I've never been good at poker. <laughs> Each player is dealt two cards from a single deck. These are known as the whole cards and are kept secret from the other players. Are we doing, is it like, um, yeah, we're doing the, the river one, right? Um, over some around, shared cards are dealt in the center of the table. These can be seen in every, by everybody and are known as community cards. Okay, um, a player's hand rank comes from the strongest five cards. Yes, I see the hand rankings. I kind of remember them. After each set of cards is dealt, there's a round of betting. Okay, what? Texas Hold'em, is that what this is? I, like I said, I don't do poker. Uh, after all betting rounds are complete, the players reveal their cards in a showdown, and the player with the best hand wins the pot. Um, to start, the two players to the left of the dealer must put in a mandatory bet. Yes, it's the blind and the big blind. Uh, check is if no bet is a made, a player can choose to check or bet. Uh, if, if no bet is a made, a player may bet call. Okay. Yeah. And then we raise, I, I, I kind of understand that. Can always fold all in auto bet, hold a, and select the action you would like to take. You can cancel that action anytime before your turn by holding a again. Note that if conditions change, so that your preset action is no longer valid. Your auto bet will be canceled on my betting rounds. Okay, fourth community card, and then the, then the river, right? Showdown. On reaching the end of the final betting round, the showdown takes place. The players reveal their cards, taking the bet five best five-card combo of their whole cards. Several players share the best hand ranking the remaining cards, and the five-card hands are taken into account. As the kicker. Okay, stealing the pot. If all players but one fold before reaching the showdown, okay, side pots. If a player has gone all in during the course. Oh, yeah. And then the other two players have more money than they have a separate pot. Okay, I kind of understand. Hi, any hand that does not qualify under category listed above. Okay. Um, okay. I'm about this. Same goes for you. So... Uh, you two know each other anyway. Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Well, I don't have a horrible hand. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Okay, so I can call to match the current Can bed. you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. Mm -hmm. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give me a good He's card. He's a decent fella going good through card. a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. All right, we have a we have a pair, which is great. We almost have a straight, kind of. Um, Sometime before we all grow old would be nice. I, I don't know what an appropriate bet is. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll... There. Fine. He's so much. They guys have so much money. The turn. All right. That didn't help me. Uh, check. Nah. Check. Really? Okay, the river. Give me something good. Two pair. That's pretty good, right? I, I have no idea. Like, well, like 30 cents? That's all I got. Look at his face. He's bluffing. I got two mm. pair. There. Pile of crap. Not looking good. Yes! Yay! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> For Christ's sake. Uh, yes, come on. You've unlocked the Gambler Challenge. Check your log for more.
Hold escape at any time to leave the game. Um, <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? <laughs> Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? You can speak to other people to focus on them. I could play more, but I, I want to I wanna keep working on the mission. I did. I won! I never win at poker. I'm, I'm horrible. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure. We saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I look kind of crazy, mister. Yeah. Well, you have no idea. <laughs> Where, where is, where is he? He's all the way down there. Can I, let's get my horse because I don't want to live without her again. I'm right here, Wednesday. Hi. We need to go catch up with the Reverend because he's a drunken fool. <laughs> I'm going to walk, we're going to RP walk. That's cool, <laughs> Back bro. there. You crazy? Oh, is he over here? Is he the one on the ledge over here? Calm down! What the hell did you just hey. say to me? Get your hands off him! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me! Oh, uh... No. Ouch! You're going down! Black, black! I'll kill you both! Ouch! You're dead! You bastard! Ow! Get the law on you. Oh no! I have people marked as a witness. Hi, you guys said it. Excuse me, sir. Hey, you! Get back here! You better stop right there! Stay away from me! Stop, you son of a bitch! I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. All right, bye. Good. Get the hell out of here. Jeez, please. The last thing I needed. <laughs> I, uh, so, I am very... Uh, now, what? where's Reverend? Uh, did I lose him again? Is he really walking on the- why is he on the train tracks? Reverend! Reverend! Well, I'm really glad that I looked up the, um, the attack buttons for fist fighting. <laughs> Before I started today's video. Okay, I'll have to come back from the body because I feel like I need to save the Reverend. More than anything else right now. Reverend! Reverend! I mean, I just took a beating for you. The least you could do was not try. Come on, my friend. It's just a simple mistake. You can still be safe. <laughs> it's a choke out the word. Can we, can we not, can we not? Oh my God. There's a train coming. It's probably right behind me. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. Uh, it must stay. Um. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I can't even watch. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Oh no! Get it. Come on! 
You. Right? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? Yes! I'm sorry! Uh, I wish I was different! Oh. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? His, his wife, probably. I mean, like... <clears throat> Drop him. <laughs> I mean, like... I'm Ooh. tempted to... Can I just drop him off his side of the mountain? <laughs> I feel like that would equal auto fail. <laughs> Do we have to get him all the way back up to camp? There's a corpse over here, though. I need to go and investigate first. I mean, this game is all about the long horse rides. It's very immersive that way, but at the same time. No uh, what are you mumbling about now? No, we're done. I was gonna say that it's very immersive along horse rides, but at the same time, it's very time consuming. A flush of diamonds. Really? Oh, he's talking about poker. Flush of diamonds. Did you get cheated, my friend? Where is this corpse I need to go and loot? Because you never know. Okay, no, we're not going to go that way. We're just going to go adding a marker. There we go. And I'll just ride towards it. Ah! I would go faster, but I'm afraid he might Kippers, die. please! <laughs> And there's my hat. Well, Arthur's hat. So up now. All right. Let's get Arthur's hat. Margaret. Hey, shot it back there. I'm guessing Margaret was his wife, and she died, and all the horrible things. I didn't actually. Oh, and he was probably married, oh. and Arthur killed him. Oh my gosh, we're such horrible people. <laughs> okay, so we need to now go all the way back up here. Email. Yep. Yeah. Easy. Okay, well, I'm going to do that in cinematic mode. Okay, we're back. Um, I can take off the waypoint, I think. Escape. Let's go hitch my horse over here-ish, I think is where it is. Try to avoid as many bushes as possible, which isn't doesn't seem to be happening. Ladies, how's it going? Hitching my horse. You can rest now, girl. Yeah, we'll remove the reverend. <clears throat> Drop Reverend Swanson off in his bed. Hi, everybody. Found the reverend. Did anybody besides me notice he was missing? I was wondering when he'd show up. So what's her deal? Is she like, um, Dutch's girl or something? 
Okay, drop. <laughs> he literally just throws him down. Sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. Okay. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Mission complete. Who is not without sin? Arthur goes to find out what Reverend Swanson is doing at Flat Next Station. Drinking and gambling. Went to oh, I should have won two hands of poker. I did win one. Return Reverend to camp within two minutes and five seconds. I mean, like, how I'm so slow when it comes to this stuff. I don't know that I could ever do it. Okay, contribute since we're here. Done, done, done. Uh, we will give the wedding ring. Donate. And maybe I can get some dinner while I'm here. Hi, hi, John. There he is. Can I have some food too? Arthur apparently is underfed. Evening, Arthur. Evening. I need to feed him more often. Uh oh, are Abigail and John gonna have another fight? Yep. Did we go watch the fight? No, it's over already. What is this? Okay. It says. Five finger filet, Lenny. Is this like a thing? There we go. If camp members need to unwind, they'll often challenge each other to rounds of five finger filet. Is that the thing like from Aliens? You guys remember that that scene with a uh, I'm with Bishop. <laughs> I I I remember that movie. Um, okay, let me save since I just finished this mission, and then maybe we'll try this. All right, let's see if this actually sits. Do I need to wait for a certain time of day? Does Lenny need to be here? Hmm. Maybe I need to take a snooze until then. Um, sleep. Until nighttime, maybe? We'll see if that works. We'll, we'll slowly get there. over here. Do I need to talk to Lenny? No. Hmm. There seems to be blood on the table. I'm just saying. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not such a great idea that I do this. How's it going? Hi, Lenny. Do you want to do the thing? Sorry to hear that. Maybe I need to go talk to him. Lenny. So, uh, what happened to you and Valentine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember too much. You? I woke up in the middle of nowhere. Ugh. Mess. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. Okay, bye. Huh, well, I guess that's not happening. Karen's having a good sing. Listen, Abigail, you, you deserve so much more than I can manage. Oh. I guess I just don't know much about fathering. Oh, it's real easy. What do I do? Pretty much the exact opposite of what you have been. Real fun. Oh, I ain't joking. 
Just use that tiny brain of yours, and whatever you think is right and proper, do the exact opposite. Then you'll raise a man. Just like your mama did? Raise a real man like you? Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Well, hi. Hey, Abigail. Oh, what now? Huh? John, I feel like we need to have a conversation. Hey. Uh huh, Morgan. How you feel? A little better. Well, can you like, I don't know, hang out? Just hang out with your kid. Take him and sit with him and have dinner with him and talk nonsense with him. Like something, you know what? I'm not gonna say it's fine because it's not. Oh look, oh, look. everybody's in their sleep clothes. Hi, Karen. Soon Lila Lorena. Life's tide is ebbing out so fast. There is a future. Oh, thank God. Of life, this is so small part. This dust, the dust beneath the sun. But there, up there, it is hard to hide. to pass out. Tis dust, to dust beneath the sod. But there, up there, it is hard to hide. Aww. Hell of a song, that one. My lady. You okay, Arthur? Keeping out of mischief? Yes. Unfortunately. Your mouth wasn't moving. That's that's pretty fancy. All right. I'll leave you to it. Sure, Arthur. Oh, that was a very pretty song, though. Okay, so I want to, I think, head back down to Flatneck because I swear there was a stranger quest down here that I completely missed. So I'm going to get on Wednesday. We're going to have a little journey. I do want to check out... Player Arthur. Hmm. He's underweight still. I need to fatten him up some. Okay, damage taken. Eating too much or too little. Underweight or overweight or underweight. If you're underweight, health will be affected negatively and stamina will improve. Maybe I... He's underweight because I I ran him all that way back to get his horse. You know, maybe maybe that's what happened. And since I can't do this thing here anyway, you know what? Let me rest until morning. Get him a, give give Arthur a good night's sleep. I don't know when we'll be back. <laughs> because um, it's it's well, it's not as far away as the frozen tundra. We'll sleep till morning. Oh, it's only three hours sleep. This is not, not any kind of good sleeping that Arthur's been having. Come on, lay down. Four hours until nighttime, and then another three hours after that. I mean, it's seven hours, but broken up. I feel like that's not too healthy for him, but maybe he's used to it? I don't know. <laughs> Dutch, I do appreciate your bright red long jump. That's really awesome, actually. Oh, it's too short. Really? Huh. Are, are you ready to do this thing? Morning, mister. Morning to you. What you up to? Just minding my own business. He's like trying not to get killed or have someone come after him with some burning hot pokers or something like that. Okay, let's hop onto Wednesday without running into her. And I'm gonna head off towards, what was the name of that place? New Hanover, no, Flatneck Station. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna meet you probably back down Flatneck Station, then we'll see if there actually is a stranger's quest because maybe I was just making all that up. 
And if I was, then I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do next, to be honest. Help! Please! Uh, anyone! Hello? Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. Oh, I got bit. Oh, God. Oh, I need medicine or a siphon. How about I give you some health care? Oh, health care. Drink this. Oh, 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 medicine. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. <laughs> I do. Oh, oh. Now, I, I got to get out of here. No! Oh. Oh. Uh. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? All right. Um, good cowboy karma, though. So there's that. But I think I'm actually going to pause here today. And in tomorrow's video, we will continue to make our way. See, there is a stranger mission. I'm not crazy. Okay, perfect. We'll continue our way down to Flatneck Station, do this stranger mission. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I'll figure out something else to do. There's this area up here. I feel like I should go explore that area because it looks like a little settlement of sorts, but I'll, I'll worry about that tomorrow. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.